This story happened to one of our subscribers, who shared it with us and asked for our advice. I'm just a regular guy living with my wife Dorothy. Everything seems fine until one day, out of the blue, she drops a bomb on me. We're lying on the couch watching some show, and she casually says, You know, babe, have you ever thought about an open relationship? The record starts playing. An open one like what? I almost spit out my drink. My brain is doing mental gymnastics, trying to come up with an answer that doesn't sound like I've been living under a rock. She goes on to talk about how she misses the sizzling chemistry between us and that she feels a little, well, unfulfilled. Frankly, it struck a chord with me. I felt the same way, although I didn't put it into words. After that conversation, I suspected she was acting strangely. While she was in the shower, I took her phone and read her messages. I found out that she was dating a guy named Mike. There were pictures of her in this correspondence. I tried to calm down. I told myself it was probably just a joke. It's only been a few days and my nerves are on edge. She has a sex date with a guy named Mike. Yes, you read that right. A sex date, not dinner and a movie. I'm all for embracing new things, but this is like jumping headfirst into deep water without checking to see if there's any water. So there I am, the world's least sneaky detective, following her as she heads downtown to meet Mike at some fancy hotel. My heart is pounding like it's auditioning for a drum solo, torn between trusting her and letting my imagination run wild with all sorts of scenarios. Dorothy saunters up to the hotel, and my heart is now doing a full-on rave in my chest. And guess what? She runs into Mike who is casually chilling outside. Okay, cool, I think. I know where this is going. Brace yourselves, because here comes the twist I didn't see coming. Oh my God, they just walk into the hotel like it's a casual coffee shop meeting. No, they are joining a small gathering of four other guys. My confusion is off the charts, who are these guys? Why are they all buddy-buddy? It's like I've stumbled into a parallel universe of unpredictability. Curiosity gets the best of me, and like a moth to a flame, I follow them into the hotel. I'm not sure what I expect to find. Maybe some true serum that explains this whole scenario. But I'm determined to get some answers. The door to her room is slightly ajar, and I'm a mixture of nervousness and sheer determination I cracked the door open just enough to get a look inside. I've seen some crazy stuff in movies, but nothing prepared me for this. There's Dorothy in all her glory, standing but naked like she's posing for an art class, but she's not alone. Oh no, there are a bunch of other guys there too, all in various states of undress. It's like my brain is stuck in slow motion as I try to process this bizarre tableau. Panic sets in and I stumble back, almost tripping over my own feet. I end up in the bathroom, leaning over the toilet like it's my new best friend. My mind is a tornado of emotions, confusion, anger, and a dash of nausea. What the heck? After what feels like an eternity of wrestling with my emotions and my stomach, I manage to pull myself together. I wipe my face, take a few deep breaths, and prepare myself for. Well, I'm not even sure what. I have to find the courage to knock on the door. My fists are shaking like a leaf in a storm. Who is it? A voice asks from inside. My voice is trapped somewhere between my throat and my brain, so I knock again, louder this time. The door creaks open, revealing a guy in a bathrobe who looks about as thrilled to see me as a cat being given a bath. But what really grabs my attention is the scene behind him. There's Dorothy standing there, like a deer caught in headlights. And the room. Oh boy, the room. It's like a scene from a circus where all the performers forgot their costumes. Moaning, groaning, 
and skin slapping create a bizarre symphony that I can't unhear. Dorothy's walking toward me, a mix of guilt and embarrassment on her face. I'm struggling to find words and before. I know it. Our voices clash in a fiery showdown. Accusations fly, painful words are hurled like grenades, and it's like the room is vibrating with the intensity of our emotions. Amid the chaos, Dorothy suggests we step outside to talk. Now, maybe it's the anger clouding my judgment, or perhaps it's the wounded pride, but I do something I never thought I'd do. I push her back into the room, my voice dripping with bitterness as I practically give those other dudes a green light for whatever they had in mind. As I storm away, Dorothy's screams seem to follow me down the hallway, a haunting reminder of what's just gone down. I grab a cab, my mind racing a million miles an hour, and I head back home. A whirlwind of disbelief, anger, and an annoying sense of betrayal swirl around inside me. The days that follow are a blur of tears, arguments, and ultimately a heartbreaking divorce. I cut ties with Dorothy, determined to move forward and put that nightmarish episode behind me. It's been a journey of heartache, confusion, and, believe it or not, a smidgen of growth. A year rolls by, and slowly but surely, the pain begins to ebb away. The idea of putting myself out there again doesn't seem as daunting. So, I decide to dip my toes into the online dating pool. I create a profile on Tinder, swipe left and right, and guess whose profile pops up? You got it, Dorothy's. Her description reads, Loves all types of guys. I'm left gaping at the screen, a cocktail of emotion surging through me, surprise, disbelief, a tinge of resentment, and even a hint of nostalgia. But here's the twist my finger hovers over the screen, and with a cheeky grin, I swipe right. Why not right? Just for kicks, for a dose of irony. Little did I know, the universe had something up its sleeve, or should I say, behind that right swipe. Fast forward a bit, and lo and behold, it's a match. Yup, you read that correctly. Dorothy and I swiped right on each other in this bizarre cosmic dance. I chuckled to myself, thinking maybe it's fate having a laugh at my expense. So, with a glimmer of mischief in my eyes, I type out a message. Loves all types of guys, huh? That's one thing I learned for sure. Have a good life. I hit send, feeling a strange mix of satisfaction and closure. It's like I'm putting a period at the end of a long, tumultuous sentence. Just like that, the ball's in her court. I lean back, staring at the screen, wondering what her response will be. Is she shocked, amused, angry? Maybe a bit of all three. The seconds tick by, each one feeling like an eternity, as I wait for the little bubble to pop up, signaling her reply. Finally, it appears, her message, a mix of resignation and maybe even a touch of regret. Yeah, I guess we both learned something. It's a simple response, yet it carries a weight that's hard to ignore. We've come full circle, acknowledging the madness that our open relationship experiment led us to. With a sigh, I type back, take care, Dorothy. And just like that, our brief but loaded conversation comes to an end. It's a chapter closing, a chapter that involved heartache, confusion, and a dash of absurdity. As I close the app, I can't help but reflect on the roller coaster that was my journey through this unexpected odyssey. Life has a funny way of throwing curveballs, of leading us down paths we never thought we'd tread.